Without doubt, the year 2020 has challenged Nigeria as a country to ensure a more effective healthcare system due to the COVID-19 global pandemic. In Kano State, the synergy between the state and federal health institutions saved many lives, as well as curtail the spread of the dreaded virus. In collaboration with them, fighting against COVID-19, we provided them with some personal protective equipment for their doctors and other health workers in the hospital. For these lawmakers, to further strengthen the fight, executive arm needs to give account of its performances. It is the performance of the budget of 2019 and 2020 that we have come to look at the hospitals, to interact with the leadership of the hospitals in this zone, to know what and what that we have to do, using our legislative instrument to work on the system, to make sure that we have some reasonable improvement. Back at the Africa House, situated within the Kano State Government House, Governor Abdullahi Ganduji was conferred with an award for his excellent participation in the federal government NPower program. We have the highest number of beneficiaries, but that is no surprising. We are most the most populous state in the federation. So even if you go by ratio, we should have the highest number. So, but our efforts do determine for us to have the highest number of beneficiaries. At the moment, Kano State has the highest number of applicants in the country, with a total of 286,339 applicants. The beneficiaries will soon be uh, captured. Your Excellency, this indication shows whatever percentage is given per registration per state, Kano State, will definitely emerge uh, the highest with the highest beneficiaries. While the state continues to tackle unemployment, manage the spread of COVID-19 and feeding its poor, state governments assured that more human capital development programs are on the pipeline to assist the state team in unemployed youth. Idris Jubrin, Channels Television News. Thank <music> you.